Hello, dear friends from the Young European Greens. My name is Peter Matiasic. I'm the president of the European Youth Forum, and I'm currently not able to be with you because I work here in Barcelona and because we are having our board meeting over the weekend in Helsinki. So I cannot be there physically with you, but we're trying to make use of the new media available to us to give a short introduction from our side to you. Hello everyone, my name is Peter Matiasic, I'm the president of the European Youth Forum and sadly I cannot join you in person at your General Assembly in Germany these days due to our board meeting in Helsinki in Tallinn but I wanted to use this opportunity to at least try to send a short video message and I hope the quality will be okay enough and my message will come across. I wanted to talk to you about European elections. Uh, as you know, next year it's a very important moment for the EU and I know that you as Young European Greens are preparing your strategies and your candidates and everything already, but we in the EU Forum are also doing our part on behalf of the young people of Europe in general. Um, we have a campaign called Love You Future that we will present. We have created 11 pledges uh, clustered around the topics of love, youth and future um, and I'm sure Maggie, our, our board member and your Secretary General will have introduced those pledges to you as well and hopefully you can endorse them and take them on board and help us uh, lobby for these pledges and ensure that the candidates to European elections among your candidates as well will endorse these in order to make a stronger statement for this. Um, I want to specially point out some of the pledges that we find very relevant. I mean, of course, there's no hierarchy among the 11, but uh, more youth rights, quality education, welfare provision supporting all young people in need are some of those that we have put in the cluster of love. Um, then when it comes to youth, we think it's super important that we have stronger youth organizations, we have better involvement of youth, we have more competences uh, at EU level when it comes to youth policy and the consultation given uh, consultation role given to the Youth Forum as the legitimate representative body uh, representing millions of young people in Europe. So those are the kind of things that we have clustered under youth, uh, including the, all the topics related to youth guarantee, employment topics that I will talk to you about in a second, and of course free movement of young people. We know that still too many of our colleagues uh, from uh, outside the EU cannot move freely in Europe and that's a no-go for us and we need to change that. Then under the future cluster we think it's uh, very important and relevant for the EU to have new resources possibly own resources for new investment that will build on a sustainable future and green jobs we want to have stronger and inclusive democracy, um, especially more young persons standing in elections and younger persons being able to vote, so the whole vote at 16 topic that we have. And of course, the EU budget in the future must become focused on environmentally sustainable uh, economic growth and social cohesion. And I think a lot of those topics are similar uh, or equal to your positions as FYG and uh, I hope that you can you can endorse them. Then as I said I wanted to speak to you a little bit about also all the employment work that we are doing as Youth Forum. As you might know Youth Forum has been lobbying for a Euro European-wide youth guarantee since 2008. Uh, we were very happy that we now have let's say the first steps towards that with the recommendation given by the uh, by the Council of the EU on that, but still a lot needs to be done when it comes to implementing it in the actual member states. Uh, some of them still fail to understand what a youth guarantee is, um, and we need to jointly work on that. And basically it's very important to consider youth guarantee as a framework under which we can assist young people to become emancipated, as you, as you would call it in FYG, based on, on your recent work that you have done, we call that more focused on youth autonomy, so that a young person can be autonomous, he or she needs to actually first be able to uh, get there by having a job, by being empowered, by having a quality job to, you know, after finishing quality education hopefully, and to be able to make this transition from education to the labor market, while not forgetting that what we actually want is young people to 
decide on their future based on their own desires and not follow the logic of the labor market. Ooh, I'm going to study this because this is going to give me a job. No. Um, but, you know, we still believe that education is something that is predominantly about learning new things for yourself and then use those skills that you gain at the labor market that can help you. Um, so, you see, a lot of topics that we work in as you forum. For us, FYG is a very important member. Um, you, you form a part of uh, the membership that is the so-called party political youth organizations that have a special role for us because we count on you to help us uh, in lobbying and advocating our needs towards the MEPs at the European level but also towards national politicians. Um, so I'm basically very grateful for all the work and the good cooperation that we have had since I was president from 2010 with the Young European Greens. I think you're doing excellent work and you're always putting up the baton for progressive new things, uh, gender equality, LGBT topics, uh, a lot of important things that uh, you push also and bring into the youth forum on social media and internet governance and all these things for which I'm personally very grateful for and um, I hope that you will continue doing your good job, have fun doing it as always and you know take care and look forward to see you around next time somewhere in Europe. Thank you. Bye.